video, I'm just gonna be showing you guys how I curl my hair when it's short. My hair kind of grew out a little bit. It used to be like above shoulder length, but now I want to say it's like right here. Yeah, this is my hair. It looks really ugly in a ponytail. And look at my makeup today. I really tried. I tried my hardest. I'm not a makeup artist or anything, but I think I did pretty good. Anyways, yeah, let's get started. I'm really tired. I hate doing my hair. That's why most of the time I just have it down or just like tied up. This is the curling wand I use. It's very old, so please don't judge me. It's a Remington curling wand. I think I got this at Walmart. I mean, I'm pretty sure I got it at Walmart. I don't know the size of it, but basically it's a wand. This hairstyle takes me quite a long time to do, but I'm just gonna divide my hair in half. Whew, I'm like already out of breath. I'm just kidding. So before I start curling my hair, I like to put a leave-in conditioner for some reason. This is a leave-in conditioner that I use. It's from Fanola. They actually sent me this product like last year. But yeah, I just spray a little bit of that and then spread it evenly throughout my hair. If you have frizzy hair, I really recommend for you to try like a leave-in conditioner instead of a serum. Wait, let me see if I have a serum. These are two serums that I use sometimes. This one gives my hair a lot of like shine and this one is more for frizz control but sometimes my hair doesn't like to do what I say and it still gets frizzy but yeah a leave-in conditioner will help you a lot if your hair is still frizzy after the serum okay so I kind of split it in half like this and then I start from like the very back my nails are so bad I ripped off all my acrylics it's like this nail fell off and then like this nail right here fell off and it looks so ugly and I really don't have like the time to go to the nail salon like anytime soon. So I just rip them off. I don't really have a technique that I do this. I just wrap it around and it kind of works. I keep it towards like the end of the barrel. Ouch. So I let it sit for maybe like six seconds. And then I drop it. So that's what it kind of looks like. I don't really care how it looks too much because I just want like some curls in my hair and plus I'm gonna put mousse in it when I'm done with the curls just so they can kind of loosen up a little bit so yeah I don't really care if like some pieces are perfect or not okay so I'm gonna finish curling like the bottom layers and I'll be right back okay so this is what my hair looks like Obviously, I need to shake out these curls, but I kind of let them sit like this for maybe five minutes. But yeah, that's basically how I curl my hair with this curling iron. I always use this one. So now it's time to shake out your curls. So what I do is flip my hair upside down and pretty much shake them out because I don't like the way this looks. As you can see, the curls are shook. They're literally shook. I have to recurl this piece. From this point, I pretty much just look for pieces that aren't as curled as the others. But pretty much everything looks curled. Okay, so the next step is to kind of like loosen these. I put mousse in my hair. This is the Tresemme Mousse Flawless Curls. Even though my hair is not like naturally curly, if you do this enough, it kind of gives you like that scrunched look. Pretty much, I just kind of like scrunch it into my hair. And I kind of use a lot because my hair is like really thick and then once I finish putting product on this side I flip it and put product on this side okay so this last step is important I take some mousse and I flip my hair upside down and I make sure I get it in the roots of my hair I'm like, am I in the frame? <laughs> Look how cute! Okay, so as you can see, my hair is still curly, but the ends kind of get a bit straight, but that's how I kind of like it. The more product or like mousse you add, the less curly 
it's gonna get but yeah so basically now i'm gonna kind of style my hair I'm gonna kind of part it down the side so now i'm gonna tease my hair i start with the back and i basically just tease it at the root flip it over um don't judge me for using my rave hairspray all my money is going to my student loans right now and you know sometimes you're just gonna have to opt for rave so i basically keep teasing the back i think i do like three sections because i like my hair huge so again oh shit you can't see so again i tease it i flip it over and then i hairspray it i think two sections is enough and i kind of sit like this until the hairspray kind of dries up i know it look really scary but doing this will make sure you have huge hair especially if the hairspray dries so next i do this side another tip too is don't comb out your hair combing it out is just going to make the curls frizzy so yeah tease spray and make sure it's flipped and then i'm gonna do another section tease flip spray tease flip spray today's my day off so i'm just trying to enjoy it i have my midterms next week so i'm not looking forward to that okay as you can see it's a freaking mess so what i do is just kind of lightly comb it i'm gonna tuck this part behind my ears anyways but yeah this part i'm gonna tuck behind my ears so i'll just gonna leave it like that so i'm just gonna tease the other side and then i'm pretty much gonna be done okay so both sides are teased and my hair looks huge next i'm gonna take some gel this is the super wet maximum hold styling gel and you also need one of these like there's fucking hair on it you also need one of these like eyebrow spoolies I'm gonna tuck that piece behind my ear because I don't like it. I have to gel it down because it's gonna look weird if I don't. So I'm just gonna put that behind my ear and then I have some gel on here. I'm basically just going to gel that part down. The thing I like about this curling iron is it's it gets really hot so you don't have to keep holding it there for a long time. But yeah, if you curled your hair too much and you don't like it, Putting mousse in your hair will definitely like loosen those curls, but sometimes it loosens it way too much, like kind of how I'm, how it is now. And then you're gonna have to recurl some of the pieces. So now I have to figure out what I want to do with this side. So basically, I'm just gonna take like a chunk of hair. Ooh, I'm gonna leave this piece out. Okay, so I pin that back. I'm gonna tuck this piece of hair behind my ear and then leave this piece out. Again, I'm gonna take some gel on my spoolie and kind of put it on top of the piece that I'm gonna put behind my ear. Okay, so I have these little clips right here. I'm just gonna put... I have to put it up higher because I have bangs. Okay, so I'm just gonna tuck that behind my ear. And then obviously that looks weird, so I'm just going to pull... Oh yeah, I fucking pinned it back. I'm just gonna hold the pin and then kind of like comb it down. I'm just gonna take a bobby pin and kind of pin that on the bottom because it's gonna annoy me all day. I'm just gonna recurl a lot of these pieces. This is also going to be like a vlog maybe, I don't know. But yeah, this is my first hair tutorial on my new channel. I used to make hair videos like all the time. I used to do makeup videos all the time on my old channel if you weren't subscribed to there. Okay, so right now I have to go to school to drop off something. Rolled a little backward, but I'm not even gonna smoke all of it, so don't freaking hold that to me. I did wanna show you guys this new lighter that I got from Lit Rhino. Now I always talk about their company because they have amazing products, like I'm not gonna lie. But yeah, look at this lighter I got. It comes in a super like sleek case, and then you open it. Woo! So yeah, this is what it looks like on the inside. It looks really nice. Like I'm really impressed with like the packaging. But yeah, I guess this is the lighter and I guess this is the charger. I haven't used it yet, so 
yeah I've never really used one of these lighters before so I'm excited but yeah this is what the lighter looks like it's just black and it says lit rhino on it and then you basically just lift it open like this and then the button turns blue on the side and you press it and then I don't know if you guys can see that but it's really cool Obviously it takes a little bit longer, but this lighter is really nice. But yeah, if you guys want your own lighter like this, make sure you go check out LitRhino.com. I will have all the links down below in my description, but you guys can also use my code to get 10% off your next purchase. So like, even if you're not buying the lighter, you can still use my code to save 10% off. So yeah, that's really good. That's all I wanted to say. I'm going to smoke a little bit more, but then I got to go. Oh, fuck, I need to get gas too. Gas is like going up, and it makes me really sad because I wish I could just ride my bike. But everything's such like a far distance that I can't just like ride my bike everywhere. Is the most embarrassing shit just happened oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh I'm gonna tell you guys right now I just need to get the fuck out of this parking lot right now So as you guys can tell in that clip, it's me giving this guy my number because I honestly, I felt pressured and I felt bad. Yeah, I gave him my number, but it wasn't actually my number. It was a fake one. Tell me why this dude fucking called it. Tell me why he called it. Ah! And I was standing there and then, and when he called the number, it started beeping and saying, oh, this number is actually not in service. And I'm like, fuck. Ugh. Like how embarrassing. But the thing is that he asked me for my Instagram, so I gave him my Instagram, but like, why would you need my number, you know? That was so embarrassing. Oh my gosh, that was embarrassing. I'm gonna be thinking about this for like, months. It'll be like a year later, and I'm thinking about the things that like, embarrass me. Like, I embarrass myself. Yeah, to my girls out there, to save yourselves embarrassment, if a guy wants your number, just tell him no, because sometimes he's gonna call the number right in front of you, and it's gonna be embarrassing. Playtime's over.